welcome to Code Rush Feature of the Week. So, Mark, what do we got in our wonderful bag of tricks this week? This week, I'm reaching into the bag of tricks and I'm pulling out Smart Cut and Copy. And I'm going to show you a bonus feature called Paste Replace. Okay. So, Smart Cut and Copy, it's the ability to copy something without selecting it first. So, for example, here, if I wanted to grab Storyboard and copy that to the clipboard, I can just hit Control C to copy or Control Insert to copy. Either one will work. And because there's no selection, Code Rush will create an intelligent selection based on carrot position, where you are. So nice. there I am there. I've got that to the clipboard. And now I can use that in a template, for example, INX or INR, for example, like that, INR for if null, then return. That mm -hmm. sort of thing, right? So I can use. There's a number. There are a number of features that work with what's on the clipboard. Um, uh, I'll show you one other example real quickly here. NL dot S. Uh, we'll call this names. So we've got a, a string list, uh, a list of strings called names, and I've copied names to the clipboard. I just come up here and I just hit the copy key. That's the feature, right? Control C or Control Insert, and then I can use a template like FE and we can iterate through all of the individual strings um, for each name, for example, in names like that. Yep. So there are a lot of templates that work with identifiers on the clipboard. We can grab identifiers on the clipboard just by putting the caret on them and hitting Control Insert or uh, Control C, either one of those, and you'll copy to the clipboard. But nice. I, can, I can also take blocks of code like this if block, copy it to the clipboard just by hitting the copy key on it. What will happen is Code uh, Rush yeah. will see that it's a block of code and then it, and realize that it makes more sense to copy the entire if block with all of its children and mm -hmm. and grab that for you. Um, so does that work for other blocks like the try block itself, so the, the try catch and maybe it does maybe the catch block? Let's try it. So here I'm on the try keyword and I'm hitting copy. Now I'm going to be on the catch keyword. I'm going to hit copy. Right. Uh, cool. That sort of thing. Yeah. So, so um, this is based on the same technology that we use for our selection increase decrease. It's a sensible block based on your start frame. That's right. Now, um, if we're anywhere else, like we're in code, like on a, on a statement, it's just going to grab the piece that you're on, right? The identifier you're on, which sure. which most of the time is exactly what you want, right? If we're yeah. inside in here in a string, notice it grabs the whole string. So I can be anywhere inside a string, hit the copy key, and it'll grab the whole thing and copy it to the clipboard. Nice. Okay. Now I've been showing smart copy all this time. Smart cut works exactly the same way. Um, I don't use it as frequently, but, uh, but it, it's useful for moving things around. Say I want to take this method and move it somewhere else. I just hit uh, control X to cut or shift delete to cut. Either one will work. And it grabs the whole thing, move to the location I want to be in, and then paste it in, that sort of thing. So if I nice. need to move code around manually for any reason, or maybe I want to take some code and, and move it to somewhere else like this, cut this, just hit shift delete or control X. And now it's copy. It's on the clipboard. I can move it to the new location wherever I want it to be, that sort of thing. And, um, and, um, and that's it. So, so, so not bad. That's smart cut and copy. The other thing I sure. wanted to show you though was paste replace. So, um, sometimes let's say I, I might have a, uh, uh, let's do something a little bit non-centered. Let's say we have a button two coming in here and I'm going to take this code and I want to have this code work on button two just like it already worked on button one, right? So I'm uh -huh. at this point right here. Uh, in fact, let's just for clarity, let's come in here and um, and let's rename button to button one here so we can see there's button one right there. So there's button one. I've copied this. I've copied the code. I'm going to drop a marker right here. I've copied the code and down here, and this is the code I need to change. I want this to be button two and actually even better than button one and two because I think a lot of you are probably like going, well, Mark, why not just do this, right? <laughs> so let's make, let's give these better names that make more sense. So let's make this, uh, call this BTN first and call this over here BTN second like that. Yeah, so it's well, no longer just a one character difference. Yeah, so it's so it's a little more, a little more involved here, okay? So, um, so we're going to come up here. We're going to grab that second. I'm just copying that to the clipboard. We'll come down to where we want it. Now we're just going to hit Control B, and that does a paste replace of what's on the clipboard, the identifier on the clipboard with the identifier on the cursor. So I'm going to do it again here, Control B, 
and there it is. I don't have to select anything. It's a That's very, nice. very fast way. Paste, replace in one key, control B. So, so like the smart cut and the smart copy, this is almost a smart paste. It, it does the sensible selection first and then allows the paste to progress. Yes, it is. But it is, it is primarily used on a, or I use it primarily on a identifier basis. I'm replacing the identifier sure. at the caret. I don't think it, I think it, I, I think down here, I don't think it's to replace the whole if lock. I'm not actually sure. I haven't tried this yet, but let's see what happens. Yeah, here it doesn't work. In fact, if anything, we get a, no, so it isn't a new function breakpoint yeah. option, right? So the control B sees that it's not suitable, so it doesn't do anything there, which so I'm- So similar, not identical, and just intelligent about when it engages. Right. One thing I want to say on control B, because control B was later opted after we built the feature, was later opted, uh, co-opted by Visual Studio um, to set the breakpoint uh, functions, um, what, what, we, what we've done is we've made it so that control B works by default when you're not debugging. But if you're okay. debugging, then control B is going to bring up that the uh, dialogue you saw for everything. And control B sure. will not work. And that's a by default. That is set in the context. But you can go into the code rush options and change that. should be able to change that context if you want to get greater control or bind it to a different key, for example. Sure. Good, excellent. So good, good, nice flexibility in the configuration there. Yeah. So that's it. That's smart cut and copy with a bonus paste replace. Excellent stuff. Thank you very much, Mark. We'll see you next week on Code Rush Feature of the Week. For more Feature of the Week videos, click one of the two video links on screen or select from our playlist. Download and learn more about Code Rush from the DevExpress website. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest Code Rush feature videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.